Hi there, it's Adam Smith, head of Sky Sports Boxing, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. We're here at Coventry for the weigh-in ahead of tomorrow night's Sky Sports Boxer Tournament. Delighted to be joined by one of the fighters on this tournament is Tion Gibbs. Tion, also sponsored by Spartans Law. How you doing, mate? I'm good, thanks, mate. How are you? I'm alright, thank you for asking. You excited? You, you ready to go? Yeah, man. It's a long, long time coming and it's like seven-week camp. All the hard work's done now. Just want to get in there and throw some shots, man. I literally just one day to go now. How excited and how confident are you going into this tournament? Uh, very excited. Like, as I said, like it's been it's been a long time coming. Especially obviously like where I've come from as well. Small hall shows and be, being on this platform is massive. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just ready to put on a good performance, man. Just ready to do bits. Obviously, the draw took place yesterday, and one of the most interesting ties is that you're going to be in there with. Uh, fellow gym mate and stable mate uh, Scott Melvin. I spoke yeah. to Scott last week and he said ideally he'd like to get you in the final but you're gonna have to take each other on in the quarter-final. Um, just talk to me about the fight itself. Uh, what type of a fight are we going to be in for on Saturday night between yourself and Scott Melvin? We're both um, similar in the sense that we're both boxers, both like slick, like to hit, not get hit. So technical but obviously because it's three rounds it could get a bit, could get a bit messy as well. Not messy as in the sense of all holding, all grappling, all that stuff. But standing there having a bit of a strainer, if 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 needs be. I mean, you guys have shared the gym now for quite a few years. Have you guys sparred before? Loads of rounds, loads of rounds. Do you want to talk to me about those sparring sessions? Nah, but obviously that's the thing. We have some good rounds, have some good rounds, nip and tuck rounds. But yeah, you'll see tomorrow night. Because uh, you're fighting a guy that you know so well, does your sort of does your tactics and your game plan sort of slightly change going into this fight tomorrow night? Um, nah, I, it, that's the thing. Because the draw, I could have drew any any one of the kids in here. I would have had to adapt anyway. I feel like as 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 horrible as the situation is, I feel like this this makes it kind of easier because I already know him. So I haven't got to think about oh what what I've got to do like I know him, I know what what will work with Scott. Um, so yeah, I just feel like it's just it's made made matters a bit easier to be honest. You've obviously got your family's got a bit of history in this tournament. Your brother Corey won the last one. Yeah. What advice has he given you coming into this tournament? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. That's the thing because we're both experienced. We're both um, very experienced in the amateur game. We know three threes. We can do three threes in our sleep. Like it's comfortable. So I seen what I seen what changes Corey made. So I know what what things I have to adjust and change and adapt to 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 to, to make my style work for this tournament. So yeah, that's it. As I mentioned, your brother won the last one. So you know, realistically, what's the overall target for you in this tournament? Is it that bit of added pressure on you because your brother won the last one? So you'd have people expecting you maybe to sort of repeat what he did? Nah, people can have all sorts of expectations, but all I know is that if I come in here. To the, and, and do what I can do the best of my ability. I know I can win this tournament anyway. So that all that pressure nonsense is irrelevant to me. But um, yeah, go for me. Win this. Get signed. Me and my brother on the same promotional brand. Massive. <laughs> all right, Tion. Um, just a few things before I let you go. Give us a prediction for next week's huge fight at Wembley between Tyson Fury and Dillian White. What do you think happens there? I just think Tyson Fury dances around him. 12 rounds. Yeah. And before I go, are you going to give us a shout out for Spartans Law who have kindly been enough to sponsor you for this tournament? Yeah, big up Spartans Law, man. Thank you very much, man. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Tion gives best of luck Love for tomorrow night. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you very much, bro. Take care.